everyone. Welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, follow, comment, subscribe, like the videos. Also, share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link tree down below. Has links to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there. Follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages, and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Listen, folks. Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, we'll be sitting down right here on this channel having a live radio show. We'll be discussing the New York Jets. We'll be discussing all that they have going on, the draft and all of it, all right? Call in. I take live callers. I love going back and forth with you folks about this football team. So with that said and done and put to the side, ah! I'm going to talk to you folks today about day three of the NFL draft for the New York Jets. Oh, yes. They made some picks day three. We're going to be discussing the picks that they made. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. Comment down below, okay? And let me know your thoughts on the picks from day three as well. All right? So we're going to be going through them quickly, discussing it, and just talking about how excited we are for some of these guys, right? All right, so... We're going to start off round four, okay? Pick number 120, the New York Jets select Carter Warren, offensive tackle from Pitt. I like this move here, okay? Keep in mind that the New York Jets did make a trade with the Patriots. They moved down a couple spots and got some picks back from the Patriots that helped them continue to pick up other players in this draft as well. The Patriots did screw us over earlier in the draft, okay? Keeping a tackle earlier that we love, Roderick Jones, they made sure that he went to the Steelers, and they even discounted the pick that they gave to the Steelers, gave him a little bit of a discount to make sure that he stayed away from the Jets. But here we are making a trade with them so that we can get, you know, we can reap the benefits and get players that we need. So we drafted him, took him at 120. This is a guy that is from Patterson, New Jersey. He's 6'5", 3'11". This is a big dude, okay? And he has great long arms, man. Great long arms. Again, this guy has like a 7-foot wingspan here, okay? Now, keep in mind, you want to have long arms when you're out there at tackle to keep guys off of your body, keep those pass rushers at bay, keep them away, and also keep them off your quarterback. You know what I'm saying? So that's big, so that's nice. Now, he has the traits to be good. He has a lot of stuff that it takes to get, to get it done at this NFL level. All right, but he has to refine quite a bit of his technique, which is, again, this is a day three pick. A lot of these guys have those issues. No big deal, right? Every young player in the draft is going to have issues. But when you get them with the coaching that we have in the building, right? Keith Carter, our offensive line coach, is going to be working with this kid. And he's going to get him up to snuff, all right? He also has some penalty issues as well at Pitt. Quite a bit of false starts. But again, I think our offensive line coach and our coaching staff is going to be able to clean a lot of those things up and really get him going here okay he also had a meniscus injury as well at Pitt that you know cost him about nine games so but they talked about that as well but again that knee injury is good to go now it's 100 percent healed he's 100 percent healthy he's fine and he's going to be out there all right now this is a guy that i think again starts off in kind of a depth kind of backup role and then you know maybe down the line he becomes a significant you know piece along our offensive line we'll see but he's a guy that i'm excited that the new york jets brought in Next pick, round five, Israel Abanakanda. Ooh, man, Izzy, Izzy, Izzy is in the building, okay? Pick 143, running back out of pit. I'm excited about this pick. This guy's a home run hitter, okay? He can move. He's got some speed on him. He can run. Not only can he run, but he can run through tackles. That's one of the things I liked watching him as well. Um, he's also a really solid pass catcher coming out of the backfield, really good hands. Now, he does need to work on his route running. Big deal. He's a young, you know, running back. He's going to get that work. You know, he's going to get that worked on, and, and our coaching staff is going to get together with that. But one of the things that you kind of – kind of was a knock on him was he fumbled three times last season, which to me, uh, you know, that's not a huge deal. But a lot of people saying, hey, he does need to work on his, his ball security. But, I mean, it's just three fumbles at the end of the day, right? Um, if he cleans up his route tree a bit, which he will get, you know, that worked on with our coaching staff and everything. If he cleans up his route tree, gets a bit stronger, bulks up just a little bit, man, he can get a, give us significant production here because I think he's going to be within the rotation. Again, you look at our running back situation right now, Brees Hall coming off the knee injury. Again, 
everything is, you know, looking like it's going to be good with Brees Hall. There's talks that he's ahead of the schedule and he might actually play week one. We'll see. Michael Carter coming back. I'm excited for Michael Carter. He's coming back off of a down year. I think he has a rebound year this year. You look at Ty Johnson. We've released him. Bam Knight is here. So, But we'll see where Izzy is going to shake up. He could be a guy that could be in that, you know, that third spot and really be within that rotation of work and get in here and do something for us in his rookie year. I'm excited about this kid. He has the ability to really do some things uh, here with the New York Jets within this offensive situation. So I like it a lot. I like Izzy, and I'm glad the Jets brought him in. Next pick in round five at 170, Zaire Barnes, okay? Linebacker from Western Michigan. Now, this guy's solid, man. You know, he's a solid backer. He's got solid speed, ran a 4-5 in the 40. Um, he's a guy that just fits here within the scheme. When you look at him, it's like, okay, he's a guy that I think comes in, is going to be a special teams contributor and kind of a backup guy at first. And then down the line, we'll see what we get from him. But he's a guy that I think can do some things here. I'm excited about him and what he brings to the table as well. Now, round six at number 184, Jarek Bernard Converse is in the building. Now, this guy is a DB from LSU. He's 6'1", and he ran a 4'3'9". Man, that's moving, right? But he also has versatility, and I think that that's his greatest strength. This was a guy that started out at safety at Oklahoma State, then turned around and went to corner. Then he transferred to LSU and was out there and was playing corner. So when you look at the situation within this scheme, he's a guy that can be moved around. He's like a hybrid guy, right? And it's going to be very interesting to see how the New York Jets handle him and what they do with, with him within this defense. So... Listen, I like the fact that they brought in uh, Bernard Converse. I'm excited about him, too. And we're going to see what they do with him in the secondary. Because, again, this is a guy that moved around from safety to corner, kind of played both spots, be all over the place. We'll see. We know Sulla likes to do that as well, likes to move guys around within his defense, and he can put you in a position to make things deadly, okay, for the opposing offense. So the, the final pick in round seven, okay, pick 220 for the New York Jets, Zach Coons, tight end from ODU. Ooh, man, let me tell you something. This kid right here is extremely intriguing, okay? You look at him, man, he has the traits, okay? The traits to be a big-time impact player, a big-time impact tight end on this level. He is 6'7". He runs a 4'5 in the 40. His weight is good. He's in amazing shape. Man, this guy has the physical traits out the wazoo. It's just that he needs to work on so many parts of his game, right? Particularly his route running. He's got to clean that up. The, the Jets can get with him, this coaching staff, and really work and refine his, his technique. Man, this guy could be a serious threat. A serious threat. Now, again, the New York Jets are already stacked at tight end, right? We already got three guys. Tyler Conklin's already here, right? We saw him do some great things this season. CJ Uzama as well is here. He was a free agent that we brought in. We're excited about him. He had a big season before he came here. But we saw him contribute, you know, in the to the New York Jets this past season. Um, you also look at Jeremy Ruckert where he couldn't even get on the field. Sometimes he was deactivated, right? He didn't even play. So when you look at Zach, you're saying, okay, well, what are they going to do with him? I personally believe the Jets grabbed him. They're going to work with him, and they're going to try to stash him on the practice squad. All right? Now, again, maybe he comes into camp and just, just blows everybody out the water and makes it tough. But when you look at him, he's got quite a bit to work on. If you can stash this guy on a practice squad and work with him, get everything refined, but let me tell you something. There's a lot of things you can teach, but you can't teach 6'7". You, can, you can't teach that, dog. Like, you cannot teach that, okay? You can't teach that size with that speed. Like, you can't teach that, okay? So this guy, if he can clean up his route running and other things as well, that's part of his game, boy, he could be a threat. Now, he did have a knee injury as well. Um, but again, the knee is 100% healthy now. Bounce back looking like he's good to go. So... Man, that's something else, man. The Jets day three did work. Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think about this draft. You know, let me know what you folks think about this draft as a whole. Let me know what you folks think about day three. What is your favorite pick from day three? Let me know. Comment down below. Let's go back and forth. 
You folks have a good one. Peace.